Hello, today I'm going to show you how to block Facebook from PFSense. Okay, so we're going to go to Firewall, we're going to go to Audiences, and add a new one. Name is Facebook IP. So we're going to try to store all known Facebook IP addresses so we can block them pretty much. Alright, so we're going to go and ping Facebook couple times see how many we can get I see is the first one we're gonna copy and paste it all right should be 32 yep add network here we go I'm trying to get the next one it might be the same yeah it is the same so we're gonna go and we're gonna put totally ww and that gives us a different one perfect all right so I copy this one copy it over Alright, and I'm sure we're not going to get any more, but just in case, we're going to try again. No, same one. We're going to try with the W's. No, same one. Try again. No, try again. No. Alright, so that's it for now. We're going to save it because we cannot get any more IP addresses. And now we're going to save the changes. Trying to make this quick. If you need to slow down, just stop the video and play back. Firewall, rules. Alright, so now we're going to go to LAN and we're going to add a new rule to block all the known Facebook IP addresses. We're going to put it at the top of the list because all that does matter in this case. We're going to reject it. We could block it too, but there's a difference. We'll get into it next video. Alright, LAN, IPv4. I like to block all protocol just because we don't need any of them open and it just doesn't hurt at this stage. Alright, here's when it comes interesting. Destination. We already done the alias, so we're gonna select alias, and now we can start typing Facebook IP, whatever you want. You find it, you select it, you're gonna lock the packets. That's the whole point. And now we're gonna do block. There you go. I've done it before, as you can see. Making sure I do it properly. We're gonna save it now. Yep. We're gonna apply the changes. Theories. Now we should not be able to access Facebook at all, not through the browser or the terminal. So. Browser seems to be not responding, which is what we want. And I'm gonna ping it again. We're gonna let it go. And no luck. We're gonna run it without the W's to the other IP address. No luck. That's exactly what I want. Just to make sure that I show you that this is actually happening. Google should work perfectly. And it is. And of course, we're gonna try also my website. Just to make sure. There you go. Beautiful. So yeah, that's up and running. Thank you for watching. See you next time.